Alright, alright. What's up, what's up, what's up, mga kachimek? Magingay! Nandito na ulit si Sir Zello, ang inyong lingkod, ang inyong nag-iisang kachimek. Thank you, no? Ang gagaling nyo, di ba? Ang obvious-obvious naman kasi Sir Zello ng meaning ng chimek. No? Pero nagtataka ang kapatid ko dito for sure kung anong meaning ng chimek. Nanonood siya, malis ka dyan kasi nadidistract si Sir Zello. Well, anyways, mga kaibigan, no? we're down to our mga kaibigan. Vlog lang ites. Welcome to another episode of Sir Jello with the Chimek. For today's session, we're going to talk about one of the uh, eternal question uh, in the universe ever since, no, since day one or even day zero. What made up stuff? No, what made up everything? And in our previous discussion, which is matter, no, though we tackled a lot or most of the things about matter we we've slightly mentioned atom no that it's the only fundamental thing or uh, building block of the matter itself and we didn't elaborate it on it so as promised the next topic would all all about atom no at this pre-recorded session we are simply going to trace the history of modern atomic theory and on the next session on the following sessions Now, we are going to talk about yan, naglalag ang aking powerpoint the structure of the subatomic particles no their mass their charges etc etc and so on and so forth but for this pre-recorded session we're just simply going to trace the history babalikan 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 natin ang nakaraan gaano man ito kasakit all right so without further ado pasok intro ni Sir Gel Sir Lems at Ma'am Irma Alright, alright, nagbabalik tayo What's up, what's up, mga kachimek, 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 chaimek <laughs> Bado yun kay Sir Zello So yan, as, as I was saying a while ago Now we're going to trace the history of modern atomic theory And just a disclaimer No, we've we've talked. We are going to talk about a very few names, no. But it doesn't necessarily means that these are the only people that contributed to the to the birth of the atomic theory, no. Especially the modern atomic theory to the existence of the theory itself or how we viewed atoms. But there are hundreds, probably thousands of unsung heroes, no, or unnamed scientists researchers, assistant workers, or even I, I like to consider the wife of the scientist or the husband of the scientist, the people around them, their children, no, these are contributors to the uh, success of science. And it's not just true to the history of modern atomic theory. It's true to most of the inventions, discoveries, facts in science. So I want to start with this disclaimer that though we are going to highlight quite a few person uh, these are not the only person that contributed but they gave a milestone no, or a jump start or a significant impact on the modern atomic theory timeline so without further ado let's get it on so you'll see the, here on the next slide different images of what we are going to talk about so Dalton Thomson Rutherford Bohr Chadwick and si Modern no? kilala niyo si Modern? <laughs> syempre hindi Napamaya, papakilala natin kung sino si modern. Alright. Sige, sige, sige. Bago yan, kilala mo ba to? Natotropahin o jojowain? What's up? Parang isang tingin mo lang ako eh. Nahuhulog na. Ano da? Mali. Di ko aram si lyrics. And, do you know this guy? No? What's up, man? What's up? Do you know him? No? Probably is not that famous, especially that face. No, this is actually Democritus. No? So why did I included Democritus? So Democritus was uh, coined as the father of the modern uh, atomic theory. You know? Why? Why is that? No? But before before I tell the story of why Democritus was so famous because of his theory. I also would like to acknowledge his teacher, de ba? Siyempre, if there's a bright student, there's a pogi teacher. Do you agree? 
Yan. Comment down below mamaya kung you agree that Sir Jello is pogi. Just say yes. Yan. And I'll know that you've watched this video and you're, 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 uh, you're believing in the handsomeness of Sir Jello. Yan, masyado nang egocentric Sir Jello. Anyways, so here's Democritus on this side and then the other one is his teacher, Leosippus. Now, those, though these images are not accurate, these are good symbolization. So as, to, as the story goes by, uh, these two are Greek philosophers. So we, we know that most of the intelligent people during early time, or early civilization, were the Greeks. And, and one of these intelligent people or Greek people are uh, Democritus and Leosippus. No, as, Leosippus is the teacher of Democritus. So we don't really know who among them started the thinking, no, the, the way of thinking about what made up everything. So, as the story goes by, uh, Democritus was walking with Leosippus, his teacher. They were walking around their area and yeah, suddenly, uh, the building that they are passing by each day, diba? usually kasi during their time, education is not that formal. No? In order to have a study, usually one-on-one -on -one lang, one teacher lang, senpai, a sensei, and a student, and then they informally teach, uh, teach each other. Kwentuhan, sa pagkain, sa paglalakad. So, this one happened. No? Democritus noticed that the building that they were once passing by were destroyed already for some reason. And he realized that the walls, uh, diba, are you familiar with the Greek walls? We have the Doric, Corinthians, and Ionic. No? The, the huge walls became rocks. No? And as the day passed by, he noticed that those rocks are becoming tiny little pebbles. No? And then do, those pebbles are turning into dust. So, as the story goes, he asked his teacher, Sir, no, Sir Leosipus, Senpai, Sensei, Master, Guru, I now know, or maybe, everything is made up of a little something. No, he said that there's always a foundation for everything. Like this wall, thick wall, it's made up of rocks. But these rocks are made up of pebbles. And these pebbles are even made up of little tiny objects which he could probably call sands no, or dust. But the texture is rough and it's hard. No? So he tried exploring more and more things. He tried cutting apples. Diba? There are apples that change the world. Si apple ni Adam, si apple ni Newton, and then si apple ni Bill Gates. Bill Gates ba yun? Tama ba? Yun, the three apples that changed the world. Gusto niya din dumagdag. So he tried cutting apples. And he realized that you'll come to a point that you will no longer, you will reach a point that you will no longer, you cannot, sorry, you cannot cut a piece of apple or a portion of apple into two little smaller pieces. And that's the beginning of this, the word atom, no? which he called atomos. So what do we, what do what did, did he mean by the word atomos? So atomos is a very simple word. No, it simply means indivisible or uncutable, meaning you cannot divide it any longer. You cannot cut it anymore into two or more pieces. So that's just a Greek word for indivisible or uncutable. And he theorized, theorized. <laughs> what's up, mga kachimek? Basta naggumawa siya ng theory that the apple, the rock, you'll come to a point that you'll get the atomos, no? the indivisible, the uncutable part of that thing. And that thing is their atomos. Though most or everything, like a cheese or a clay, they have their atomos, they differ in aspects such as texture. Of course, the atomos of the clay will be softer, more flexible the atomos of the rock will be harder will be uh, a bit uh, rough on edges and then the, it would be painful if you'll try to crush it uh, if you can imagine with me the cheese however is and the apple is soft and delicious so he started a revolution a thinking revolution who would have thought 
that everything is made up of a very tiny particle which he called atomos and seemingly you know, even as early as 300 BCE no that's before Christ era there was already some light about what forms anything no or what forms a matter so and however no diba lagi naman uh, may pabida diba uh, to formally again reiterate so uh, yeah sorry i don't have the presenter's view so i'm again <laughs> surprised by what comes or what comes next to my powerpoint so democritus said that you'll reach a point that you cannot divide uh, the object into a smaller pieces or more no? and when you reach that point that that thing that you are probably holding in your finger is the atomos of that thing you've divided or you've cut. So, you will reach a point that you cannot cut it anymore and that's the atomos. However, now there was a challenge now from a young, handsome man. He's no longer young, but I think he's more handsome than the first picture. Diba? Nag-compare tayo ng face value. Now, kilala niyo ba to? Yan. Sino siya? That's Aristotle. So Aristotle, probably in your philo, Democritus and Aristotle. No, Aristotle have been uh, has, has a lot of contribution contribution in terms of philosophy. Si Aristotle, he proposed something else. No, now na si Democritus with his proposal about matter. So Aristotle said, uh, uh, you don't have to think like that. The atoms are simply made up of fire or the everything rather sorry everything is simply made up of fire air earth and water just a combination combination of these four elements no natural elements that differs in proportion say for instance a rock rock is sabi ni aristotle mostly earth no earth element with a little water and a little air in it and a very little fire no? and Nabawa, si water. Water itself is made up of a lot of water, a little of earth, fire, and air. So basically, combination of this that differs in matter and proportion. So during their time, no, there was a battle between Democritus and then Aristotle. Nasabi ng referee. And who do you think won? No? Kanina ka magbebet. Diba? Yeah, very good. As brilliant as you are, uh, because you are a chimic, and you are a chimic for some reason, you voted for Democritus, right? Because the knowledge was already transferred to us. However, unfortunately, nagkaroon ng dayaan. Diba? Ganito naman palagi eh. Mas famous si Aristotle. No, mas sikat siya during their era. That's why people believed Aristotle more rather than Democritus. Diba? Ganun naman, even sa class. Diba? Eto, consistent valedictorian from grade 1 to grade 6, high school, valedictorian pa rin. Nung nag-college, uh, kahit mali na yung sinabi niya, or hindi naman technically maling mali, yung parang nagsi-second or nagti-third lang sa kanya, napakaganda nung sinabi. Kaso, hindi siya pinaniwalaan because the first person or Aristotle was more famous than him and he, he really contributed no no doubt in philosophy he talked or he shared a lot of things in terms of philosophy but this uh, yeah we cannot we cannot uh, and change the fact that he was famous and because of his credentials you know, he outplayed you no know, he overtake overtake na overtake ang English ang past tense ba na overtook <laughs> he overtook the idea of Democritus and people believed Aristotle instead so yeah nagfly away si idea ni Democritus at ang pinaniwalaan si Aristotle dahil isa siyang Avatar, the great airbender. Yeah, and tawa ka naman dyan kasi baka nabuboring ka na. So, yeah, thank you sa mga tumatawa sa mga jokes ko, mga kachimik, maraming salamat. Pero yan, yeah, kidding aside, no, even scientists, no, after the early civilization, 
believed that the earth or that the everything was made up of the four elements. No, meron pa nagdagdag ether daw. Ba? Four or five elements. And then, they disregarded the study of atom. Until such time, eto na. Here comes John Dalton. So, he's the first scientist. Because the first two are Greek philosophers. No, they, though they, some Wikipedia and Google would say they are scientists, mathematician, for God's sake, they didn't use experimentation. They didn't use any scientific equipment. They don't have the electron microscope. They do not uh, have the scientific method yet. So, we cannot call them scientists. So, the very first formal uh, discovery on the modern atomic theory was created by John Dalton. So, let's meet who John Dalton is. If you try to watch YouTube videos, search for Google, or yeah, and, and read books, it's, it's, uh, it's quite confusing. Some say he's an English teacher. Some say he's a chemist. No, but John Dalton is a British chemist. Therefore, he's an English chemist. Na, na interchange lang siguro or na mistranslate lang or na misinterpret lang yon as English teacher. So, he's, he was a Quaker. No? He was born in a Quaker family. What do we mean by Quaker? During their time, uso nun yung uh, group of religious friends, no? the Quakers. Uh, what, 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 what do they do? No? What Quakers do? What do Quakers do? Sila yung mga Christians but they don't believe in the scriptures no they simply believe in a, in a god and they meditate in him no probably some of you are catholic but you do not uh do church teachings or scriptures you do not follow but you believe that there is an almighty being and then you prayed for him parang one on one yung relationship nyo. so you can consider yourself a quaker during their time so si John Dalton after after 1808 so imagine the time interval so si Democritus 300 BCE after bago na buhay muli yung question about atom yung knowledge or yung search towards the truth about atom 1808 so that's roughly 2400 to 2500 years something like that no si Dalton though he, he really didn't uh, he didn't really he's not really after what an atom is or what an atom looks like he was experimenting on separating a certain compound and then he realized that these things can be broken into two smaller pieces and then he realized that these compounds I'm not sure what compound it was or probably it was water he realized that these these small things that are being separated are both circular or to be specific they look like billiard balls no or tiny solid balls and he said ah democritus was correct atoms are made up of tiny little things however democritus was slightly wrong when he said that the shape differs diba ibang shape ni apple ibang texture niya rock and so on and so forth if you can imagine the small little image here on my hand no you cannot see it yet because you haven't graduated but I'm I'll make sure to you mga chimic makikita nyo yung kulay ng oxygen dyan kapag graduate na kayo now going back according to Dalton yes Democritus naniniwala ako sa'yo at kung nasa langit ka at nanunood sana masaya ka that the atoms the atoms or the smallest or the fundamental building block of matter however the shape of these atoms are all spherical or solid balls like a billiard balls and he proposed four atomic theories now four different theories so bear with me as we run down these are very simple theories first atoms are tiny invisible particles so during his time cannot see yet the atoms no? So, he assumed that these are invisible, very tiny, such that they are already invisible. And then, atoms of one element are the same. No? Sabi niya, if you have a pure gold, hindi yung nasa sentro, 
Okay. Uh, uh, pure sheet of gold. Sheet. S-H-E-E-T. Yan. A necklace na lang. Uh, a necklace of pure gold. Diba? If it's literally pure gold, all atoms there are of gold element. No? Millions or billions and trillions. So, how small an atom is, according to Dalton. Sabi niya, if you get a strand of your hair no, and create a cut a portion of it, there's a 500,000 atoms of carbon in your hair. And the third one is, atoms of different elements are different. Of course, a different atom, a different element would give a different atom. And then, compounds formed by combining atoms. So, since he divided compounds into atoms, he realized or he theorized that atoms connect to each other or form bands to create compounds. So, this was the foundation of the modern atomic theory. It was John Dalton who honored Democritus. That's why he even named it as an atom. No, the atom, which is a Greek word before that is atomos, became an English word for the smallest, tiniest, smallest, tiniest, na redundant ka, sir, the unfathomably small particles, no, the atom. So, that, there you go, Dalton. However, since we are diving into timeline, no, here comes another man in the picture of the timeline of modern atomic theory by the name J.J. Thompson. So, hindi siya Thompson na may P, na basketballista. Hindi din siya Thompson na walang M, na Dota player, mid laner, if you can relate. J.J. Thompson or John Joseph Thompson. But I do not really care about the, the, the first name. What I want, I, I don't even care about the dates. Now, I, I place the dates here for you to remember or to check the sequence. Diba? We started 300 BCE, then we jumped 1808, if I'm not mistaken. Sige, let me get back to that. 1808. So, almost after 90 years, bago na sundan. So, si Dalton, through his lifetime, uh, he claimed the glory. Diba? Parang naglalakad si Dalton. Oh, siya, siya yung nakadiscover ng ano, ng solid ball fury. Genius yan. Parang ganun, di ba? Kung dito, ay, siya yung nakita ko sa TV. Sa kanila, ganun, ah, siya yung nakadiscover ng ganito, ganyan. So, he enjoyed his life because it was only in 1897 when J.J. Thompson, Thompson realized that there are even smaller particles inside an atom. And how did he discover that, no? Sige, before I discuss what was his model, no, how did he discover his model? So, there was an experiment ongoing before no, that he furthered or he researched more about it. He was shooting a cathode ray. Hopefully, I can use the... Yeah, I can use the markers. So, let me use a blue one. He was shooting a ray here. Diba? In a cathode tube or a cathode a tube rather you know, an empty tube or a sealed tube and then yeah the expectation is that the ray will go straight no eventually ang bagal ng transition let me move my face first sige na mo move ba all right hindi siya na mo move or naglalag lang siguro sige nakita naman Ah, okay. Na-move na siya. Alright. Sige. So, during his first experiment, no, the, the, the ray was shooting straight as expected. And then, out of nowhere, because he was experimented, he tried placing a positive plate above and a negative plate below. No, or a charge plate. He tried using magnets and other ways to create a positive plate charged metal plate. And surprisingly, the ray went up. No, It went up and he tried this for several times. He tried it over and over again and he is usually getting the same result. No, it was really a, a, a mesmerizing scenery for J.J. Thompson. So he tried uh, the last, uh, another one, no? He replaced or he changed 
he interchanged the positive and the negative plate. So see, positive, which was above before, he interchanged it with the negative, placing it below. So what do you think happened? Ma kachemek. Very good. No, galing. Wala na, wala pala dito sa next slide. The, the, the bent, or oh, the bending of the ray, once we interchange the plates, no, it went downward. So what did he realize in this cathode ray tube experiment? The ray that he is shooting, that they are shooting, were not actually ray. These are particles, no? And he, when he measured the mass, it, wa it was 1,000 times smaller than a hydrogen. So this created an idea that the atom was not fundamental, meaning the atom was not the smallest or tiniest. The atom was not indivisible. The atom was made up of something else and even a very small something else, which he called first corpuscles. No, that's C-O-R-P-U-S-C-L-E-S. -E Corpus meaning body, and we add sometimes L-E-S, like Juanito, Senorito, Miguelito, to refer that they are small. So, small body, very small body, which we now know as electrons. So, during his time, corpus cells yung tawag. Electrons. And sabi niya, ah, tama si Democritus. There's a small, tiny object we, we, we call atom. Tama rin si paring Dalton, no? Gagayain kita. So, ganyan naman talaga, no? Sa science. Kaya, I don't mind if you copy an assignment from a classmate because even our scientists did that. Even for dead people, they copy their works. However, always improve it. So, tandaan niya, mga chimek, kung gagaya sa kaklase, huwag i-copy-paste, no? Galingan mo, talunin mo yung pinagayahan mo, and I'll be very happy to check your assignment. So going back, that's Thomson's model. Solid, inadapt niya si Tiny Ball, di ba? Gayahin ka to. However, Dalton, kulang ka. There are smaller particles, the electrons, which are negatively touched, like negatively charged, attached to these atoms, no? And this model was called the Plum Pudding Model. Yan. We are not familiar because uh, it's in from, from other countries. So this is a plum pudding cake where the entire cake is the atom and there are tiny bits scattered inside and outside this plum pudding which are the corpuscles or the electrons. So yun na, we're getting into the reality. We have now the positive atom and the electrons. So yan, if you're, if you're not familiar with the plum pudding, we have here a sesame bread, sesame bread, sesame street a bread with sesame seeds kung hindi ka pa dito familiar, for sure chakoy, no? chakoy is common, no? imagine na lang a uh, solid sphere chakoy meron naman atang bilog, so usually yung parang biniribid siya and, uh, pa oval, pero may mga bilog na chakoy, imagine mo na yan the, the sugars, white sugars are your electrons, so that's how JJ Thompson uh, viewed the electron now uh, surprisingly, J.J. Uh, Thompson, by the way, for that, won a Nobel Prize. No, he, he was acknowledged for discovering smaller things aside from the atom. Then, surprisingly, meron siyang matalinong estudyante. That's why I'm very enthusiastic. I'm very rooting to every student that I'm that I am teaching. No, Rutherford, Ernest Rutherford, to be complete was a student of J.J. Thompson. So, he, the goal of Ernest Rutherford supposedly was to prove further the work of his teacher J.J. Thompson through an experiment called a gold foil experiment. So, let me run down what, what is happening here on this image. So, here is an alpha alpha source no. Uh, they don't even know yet what an alpha is before, but they believe it's positively charged. It's it it came from it, it comes from a decaying uh, radium. No, it shoots a positive particle. So if you can imagine, uh, let me draw it here in the 
background. So if I have a plum pudding here, which is positive, diba? And then I shoot a positive, yeah, naglalag talaga, and I shoot a positive or an alpha particle here in my plum pudding, what do you think will happen no, to these alpha particles that are being shot? Sige, think muna for a few moments. Yan. Probably you have two things in your brain. It will pass through. It will tear down or tear up. Diba? Parang bubutasin niya yung atoms. Na, uh, the plum pudding model of J.J. Thompson. Or it will reflect everything. Kasi ang, ang laking positive niyan. And you're shooting small alpha particles. But what happened was, some passed through, most of them passed through, some were reflected not back to the container, but at different angles. No, They were strangely deflected. So Rutherford tried to rethink. No, He experimented. No, This is called the gold foil experiment because he was using, again, a pure gold a thin sheet of pure gold and yeah no he was trying to prove jj thompson theories but what happened was is this one yeah some or most of the particles passed through and the only explanation for this one is to assume that most atom are made up of empty spaces so yan, most atoms are made up of eto mga dinadaanan ng black, mga empty spaces yan. And that the image of a plum pudding model is wrong. The only positive is in a very small portion. So it was Rutherford who discovered the next subatomic particle, which is very good, the nucleus. No? Yung mga bumanda, yung mga na-deflect, yun yung mga tumama doon sa mga maliliit yet concentrated na nucleus. So, ayan na. Sabi ni Democritus, there's tiny little uh, things that made up everything, the atomos. Sabi ni Dalton, tama ka. However, the shapes are all spherical. Sabi naman ni J.J. Thompson, tama ka pero di mo nakita yung electrons. Diba? Mas madunong, mas mas matibay si estudyante ni J.J. Thompson. Sabi niya, ha, Sir, let me copy your theory and let me replace it by this one. So, ito na. The atom is mostly empty space and that the positive charge lies in the middle which he call the nucleus. And your electrons, sabi niya, is here. Yan, nandyan lang siya. So, let me go back to the previous slide to have a more accurate view of the drawing. Kasi, for, forgive me, I'm not good at drawing. Sige. The presentation is lagging. So, kamusta kayo mga chimek? Hopefully, you're still with me. Hopefully, hindi pa kayo natutulog. And, happy Fridays. Happy weekends. Yung mukhang tao yung drinawing ko kanina. Nakatayo. O, plum pudding na to.